How's everybody doing? My name is Jose Trujillo. Welcome to our studio. I have to, I had to, uh, what do they call this? Uh, come up with a fast way right now to set up. This is not the way it's gonna be set up, but, uh, but this is the fastest right now. And because uh, I, I need to get some work done. I got all kinds of work done, work to get done. Uh, commissions and just uh, all kinds of stuff. So I need to work long hours today. I'm gonna need to work long hours tomorrow. And white, you can never have enough of it. Basically, just uh, me getting trying to get started. You know, just me trying to get started right now. Because, like I said, there's a lot of work to be done. I got some commissions lined up, and I haven't had a chance to work painting. To be painting, I was busy. Uh, next time, I tell my wife this. Next time, what I'm gonna do is that. I'm going to uh, just hire movers, you know? Like, one of the reasons I didn't do it was because it was like a split of a second, like I have to go do this now. And I couldn't wait for people to be like, to book people. It's one of the things that I hate the most, like trying to book people, you know? Uh, and then the other thing, because I like, I like to do things fast. The other thing is that, that my wife and I were like, dude, no one's gonna help us organize. Like they don't know, they won't know where to put stuff. And, and it was true, but I'd rather get the help even if they don't know how to sort things out and how to organize. Them. So now I know next time because my wife and I are super tired. We're super tired and we still have to get a lot of work done. So how's it going, Jolly? So this is just me trying to get started with where things are right now. Um, so thrilled, this studio is super big. I'm gonna be able to do uh, all kinds of things from here. Like I mentioned, I'm gonna be doing painting classes. We have enough space to put chairs and, and uh, to bring a whole class in here. And let people aim into what I do and, and what my wife and I do. We do, all, we do different stuff. I mean, it's not just the painting itself. There is a, there's a different stuff that we do. I, I work a lot with interior designers. Uh, well, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to get a studio this size because I need a showroom. Interior designers are very picky people. Uh, it's just the way it is. It's the nature of the business. They need to see the work. They need to see it face to face. They need to touch it. It's just the, it's the nature of things, right? And also because they work with textures and they work with patterns and they work with size. Size, size matters a lot. Uh, so if they're, if they're gonna get a big painting or a big print or a set of them, they need to be in front of them to, to get a, a, a feel for, you know, where things are gonna be uh, placed in their project, whether it's a home, a business, or a hotel. So they come to me to figure that part out. So here's my white paint. I don't want it to be too frothy because I don't wanna lose the I don't want to lose the consistency so much where it's too watery and frothy that the, the too oily, right? <laughs> the oil paint that is too oily. I don't want to miss the consistency. So I'm improvising. That's the word I've been looking for for the past, uh, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. Right now it's improvisation. I need to improvise the space where I'm, how, how I'm going to lay things down right now. 
The important thing is to get started. Shanaz says I wasn't getting your live notifications because they got switched to my end. No wonder I wasn't catching you live. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Shanaz. Good to see you, though. Good to see you here. So, yeah, guys, this is, this is what is happening here in the new studio. Uh, like I mentioned, I'm going to be doing uh, classes. I'm going to be doing courses, online courses, step by step. And also, uh, we're going to be hosting painting classes in the studio. I think those are going to be a lot of fun. You know, those are going to be super fun. Toilet paper. <laughs> I wanted to give you guys a little behind the scenes because I know in my other studio you guys couldn't really see what, what I do. You know? Walnut oil is like liquid, it's like liquid oil. It's very expensive stuff, but it's it's totally worth it. I do everything with walnut oil. I clean my brushes, I uh, I mix the, prepare the paint. I prepare my canvases with, with oil. I prepare, I, I do everything with, with the same, um, a little cut, with the same medium. I'm improvising. I left a lot of the other stuff in my other studio and I haven't, I need more brushes than this. But for now, this is good for now. This is very good for now. So that's how it's done here, guys. I don't know where anything is here. It's gonna be good. Once I start rolling, as I start rolling, once I start working, and then I'm, I'm gonna know where to put what, what, where to place what, and, and I'm gonna bring myself a couple of people to help me uh, build out some. Uh, I need some bigger easels. I need some. I need different stuff for the for the larger pieces, right? There's some larger pieces. Thank you so much. Looking good, artist. <laughs> How much for the classes, Jose? Uh, the class, the online classes. I'm going to, I'm going to keep them very much just like like uh, market value. I'm thinking somewhere around eighty bucks, somewhere around there for the for the online classes. But they're gonna be, they're gonna be step by step. They're gonna be full classes. Uh, awesome. Wishing you all the best on your. I'll oh, thank you on your new journey. Uh, let me show you guys a little bit of the other end of the studio right here so I I have a lot of work to do I got a lot of work to do this is just this is just me Im improvising so that I can so that I can get something started right this is me improvising so that I can start uh, working You know, since I was about 14 years old, I wished I had a studio this big. It's so funny. The studio is over 3,000 square feet. So the table is a glass table. And in the classes, I'm going to tell you guys exactly where to get the, the, the stuff that I, that I use. It's very simple, but it's key. It's taken me years to figure out what to use best. I used to use uh, uh, wood for, for this, little, this little glass. I used to use wood, and that creates a different feel on your brushes and on your hand, believe it or not. There's a different, once you start really working, it starts creating a different feel for yourself. So, so it's very important to use certain things. Uh, whatever works for you. This, this, after years, this is what's worked for me. This is what.
vinyl gloves, latex free. This is this is pretty good stuff for for if you're working uh, with uh, you don't want paint on your hands. Like the stuff that I use, this is walnut oil. This doesn't hurt. I mean, you could drink this stuff. I guess I don't know. Like the guy who sold it to me poured it on a salad, and he started eating the salad. <laughs> the salesman for that. So <laughs> it's walnut. I guess. So I use it to clean my brushes. Here, let me show you this. So I'll do something like that, and then I'll I'll clean my brushes here. And the classes that I'm going to do, guys, are going to be, uh, some of them are going to be beginner, because I know a lot of people just, they're, they're starting out. Some of them are going to be intermediate, and some of them I'm going to teach you guys, like, like no bullshit, everything that I do, how I do it, how much, how much energy is put into it, how much time, and on and on and on, because uh, if you're starting out, you may not be able to conceive that. You may not be able to conceive... Uh, how to how to create 10 canvases in one day you know it's like oh my god no I don't understand that if you're starting out you may not even be able to wrap your brain around that one uh, but much less creating uh, I don't know about that size canvases on a day I'll, I'll make about six of those you know Sometimes more, and there's a there's a there's a way to do that. Not just uh, it, it's. Uh, oh, thank you so much, Art Artful Paul eighty five. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's totally messy. Um, the larger canvas is the reason why I I am able to do more. See, when you're starting out, you're starting. You, 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 your skills may not be there. That's what I'm talking about. Your skills may not be there, so. It doesn't matter how you paint or you're you drawing. It's, that's not, it's not important. What's important is your skill set. How many years have you put in there, right? How much effort have you put in there? So when you're starting out, you'll start to do tricks like, oh, I'm going to use transparency, <laughs> right? Transparency sheets to, to create large pieces and, and whatever, you know, that, that everybody starts somewhere. Uh, but the more you work, the more you start realizing things, things that, that, that your skill right so uh there's different ways right now the stuff that i do now it's 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 like get a pencil and and dry it or use the brush and paint as i'm drawing and that's that's the that's the reason why i'm able to do so many works because it's it's a it's a direct approach it's not a preparation it's not i have to go prepare something it took me years to to stop preparing it took me years to, to stop doing studies so that I could go do a larger one or doing a drawing and then doing a study and then doing, you know, the actual piece. Uh, you can't do multiple pieces that way. You can't really explore, right? I, I don't think you can't really explore unless you do, unless you do volume, unless you do multiples. Uh, I like the Picasso approach, you know, paint as much as you can. Different sizes, different medium, different approach. Uh, so that you're able to grow and morph, and, and, and it's a it's a dynamic thing, right? You can't just stay in one place. You you gotta be able to switch it. So I had to teach myself to paint a horse, uh, partially from memory, some of it from from maybe a, a reference photo, but you can't really you can't really copy the reference photo, right? So you have to learn how to do that. You have to learn how to do it, and that's what I'm going to be teaching you guys in my in my more. Uh, my advance, where the level where I'm at right now, uh, for those of you who are like, okay, I know how to paint, I can paint, but now I want to really start learning new skills to, to, to do it more professionally, and that's what I'm going to be teaching you guys in those classes. So stay tuned, because uh, we're going to be doing them here. Alisa, it's definitely messy. And uh, this this setup is for my smaller works, so it's gonna be like small canvases like this, right? Small canvases. Maybe maybe I'll go as big as this for this setup. 
something like 24 by 30, I think this is, this is what it is. This setup. Uh, in my other studio, I had a, a, a bigger setup for the large paintings. And then I had a, a, a desk where I did watercolors and whatnot, a large desk. Here, I'm gonna have to do uh, about four different setups. One for oils this size, another one for oils that are larger, another one for acrylics, and then uh, a setup for watercolors and ink drawings. And then there's gonna be a setup just for drawing, where I'm just, it's just gonna be a corner where I'm just gonna be drawing, and this is gonna be a charcoal or any type of drawing, but just drawing. Because I don't want it to mix, right? I don't want it to. And one of the reasons, it's not just to mix, one of the reasons is because earlier when I started understanding how uh, full-time artists work and how professional artists like, like De Kooning, William, William De Kooning and, and guys like Matisse, Picasso and all these guys, when I started looking into, into how they worked, they had different stations, right? They had different stations where they worked on etchings here on this table and then they worked on clay here. So what does that do? That helps you be, if you're already prolific, that makes you a fucking working machine, right? Like you, you do something here and then you move to the next one. And then you do a watercolor there and you move here, right? Or you do a few watercolors and you're moving. And, and I'm moving to different stations, right? So this is something that, I mean, it's a dream come true. This is something that I wanted for a long time. So guys, I'm going to uh, finish getting some stuff. Let me see. I need some purple. Some purple over right here before your guys' eyes, and then I'm gonna have to start up some other stuff. I need to water paint. Man, I spent I spent so much energy and time moving here. One of the things also that I realized with, with professional artists is that they, and professional, I mean, I'm talking about, I really shouldn't use the word professional because you can be a professional artist and do things completely different. But prolific artists, prolific artists is what I'm really referring to, is that they have vast amounts of materials. Look at Peter Max, peek into his studio. He's got very little uh, videos out there that he's, like you can pick uh, into a couple of videos where he's in his studio working and check out how much paint he has, how much, how many, how much canvases, how much room he has to work in. Check out someone else like, uh, I don't know, any, any of the artists, any of the artists doing anything. Uh, Check out how they work. They have a lot of materials. They don't. They don't have. Uh, they have a lot of a lot of materials. They have a lot of paint, and they use a lot of paint. And one of the reasons for that is because it keeps you moving. If, if you start using a little bit of paint, it kind of it kind of holds you back. Unless unless you got something figured out, which I have seen some artists who have something figured out that way. It doesn't work for me though. I respect artists that do that, but I think it's a it's a completely different approach. It's not my approach. Like for me, I have to I have to I have to waste paint every day. I waste paint or oil or whatever. I used to try not to so much, but you know, you, you can't really, you have to waste it. 
you can't really, I mean, what are you going to do? Donate it, keep it, only use what you need. Like, you have to, you have to be able to let some exits go so that you can continue, keep the flow, keep the flow. Like some of my works, some, some of this paint is, is very dry. I'm going to try to use it, but for example, the black is extremely dry. It dries so fast. Black dries very fast, especially at Mars black. And uh, magenta dries very fast too. White is the one that it's, uh, it's more forgiving. Yellow is a bit more forgiving and, and blue is definitely forgiving. It also depends on the brands. But it's been consistent with me that no matter the brand, it's pretty much the same. So this is how I clean it before I put new paint. I don't, I don't keep it super clean. It's just enough. Because uh, of the way I paint and how I do things. If I spend too much time on anything, it's just perfectionism. It starts killing your day. Before you know it, you spent 10, minute, 10 extra minutes here, 20 extra minutes there, and your day is gone. So I try not to do anything too perfect. <laughs> Alisa Penner says, I definitely have a hard time with that, totally. Yeah, I mean, I, I think if you're talking about perfectionism, I don't know if that's what it is, but uh, I think that's what you were referring to, right? Uh, if you're not careful, you'll, you'll spend all your day in time, in, in, in activities that you shouldn't spend your, your day. Yeah. For example, what happened to me here, if you're running a small business, if you're running a studio, an art studio, this is stuff that I already know and I still make the mistakes, you know? They're mistakes, they're little, they're, well, I'm talking about me, right? It's little thing. It's like, oh, I'm gonna clean my studio. It's like, no, dude, pay someone to clean your studio. You, as the artist, go paint or go market, or go sell, right? It's, it's, if you're not careful, you'll spend energy on things that don't pay, or that don't advance you. It's not all about just paying, but things that don't advance you. By the way, this clothing that I have, is pain clothes. This is the, paint, is the clothes that I just put some on. Uh, I have clothing that I just, uh, I wear, and it's, I don't know, I wear it for like, it's my secret, okay? I wear it for like three days in a row. <laughs> it's, uh, thank God this is new though. This is two days. <laughs> so you guys are, you guys are seeing like new clothes. But I kind of tend to throw it away because uh, sometimes I get so much paint on it, you know? But it's not, you can't really wash it that much. So, anyways. Especially the pants, you know, the pants are, the shirts too. You guys can see how it's in the magenta here. The magenta is tricky though, because magenta will tell you that it needs more oil, but if you put more, it's, uh, it'll mess with, um, it'll mess with the consistency really bad, and then it dries super fast. So you, just because you put more oil doesn't mean it's not, it's not going to dry, it's going to take longer to dry. Uh, not with magenta or with, or with black. If you put more oil, it's probably going to dry faster. So it's a matter of just, it doesn't matter what it is, it's just a matter of understanding your colors, understanding your palette and getting to know it. The most important thing is just to paint. Everything else sorts out by itself. 
What matters most is, is just to get to work. So again, this is not where I'm staying. I don't think so. I think as soon as my wife gets here, she's gonna be like, she's gonna be like, I thought that you were gonna be over there or something like that. <laughs> Sorry, honey, you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> but this is this is what I'm doing right now. It's improvising. <laughs> oh, thank you, Alisa. Alisa says, uh, "Yeah, with wasting totally." Uh, you have inspired me to continue being more loose and carefree. I love that. It's it's really the way to be. I think. Of course, I'm talking about some sort of abstract type of work, right? Some sort of abstraction. Uh, if you do like, uh, I don't know, hyper-realism or something like that, your approach is different, you know? To you, I may not have much to say because I don't do that. My approach is very different. My approach is, my approach is still very ingrained in in the ideas of the artists, how they work, uh, from probably Picasso to to Andy Warhol, everything in between, you know, because I love the idea of that working studio, Mark Chagall, the Kooning. I like the idea of how these cats worked in their studio. They were factories. It was it was produce, 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 create, and then there is where you learn, you learn more. It's not, oh, here's how you paint a really nice painting. And I hope to create a hundred great paintings in my lifetime. That's not me. I'm not for you if you think that that's what I'm going to be talking about here. Uh, I'm the type of artist that's like, oh, I'm going to make this painting. Oh, it's all wrong. Oh, okay. Let's make, a, let's make, let's make a thousand more of them. That's me. That's me. Uh, because I'm not looking for the right painting. I'm looking to express. I'm not looking for the right shadow. I'm looking to express. I'm looking to, to, to learning how to let go and express, express the artwork. So for me, it's like, I'm looking for the flow, not, not oh look, he painted the tear so realistic, or the eye is right, it's perfect. Like there's some of that. There's some, there's some uh, uh, academic training, right? But it's very minimal. It's, 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 it's somewhat representational, but the most important part for me, the most important aspect, is to learn how to express. Because I, I believe that in doing that, it's where the good stuff comes out, personally. Uh, it's not the craft alone. It's very little to do with that. It's got more to do with the spiritual aspect. How, how much are you expressing? Is it fully? Or, is, or does it just look good? You know, if it just looks good, awesome, but that's not me. You know, I don't care about painting pretty fucking pictures and stuff like, like that's not me. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not in it for that. I'm in it for creating artwork. I believe I'm an artist and I'm, and I'm in it for creating artwork. And I'm not about, uh, finding the right way of doing anything. Like, fuck that. I don't care about doing right anything. I care about painting. And I think that that has given me such a free pass to just be an artist. To not be, not try to be anything. Just be me. Just be an artist. Like, oh, there's a flower. I'm going to paint some flowers. Oh, okay. Well, I have some drawing skills. I think I can paint some. I don't have any drawing skills. Let's say that, you know, that was me too. I don't have any drawing skills. Oh, okay, but I want to paint that flower. Okay, well, I'm going to do it a thousand times till, I, till something comes out that is true. Not some idea of a teacher before me and a teacher before me and someone else before me. No, I'm going to do it enough so that it comes out true. And maybe that means some, some training. Maybe that means some training. But... It cannot all be training. It has to be a point where there's a fork, right? Your training and your time, and then the real stuff comes out of that. 
I'll leave you guys with that. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. So free. Thank you. Take care, guys. I will talk to you guys soon. And I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm going to be doing those big ones over there. Those are super fun. So it's the same thing. I mean, it's a little canvas, big canvas, but the approach is uh, that, that one is so much more violent. The approach of that one. Uh, there's more energy and it, re it requires your whole body. Like a small little painting like that requires your, your hand and your arm, your wrist. But that one over there requires probably your your legs, your torso. It requires everything. That's why that's why uh, hydrating well, staying staying somewhat. I, I mean, I I need to do more of that. I need to do more uh, um, exercise in because it it requires your whole body. It requires your whole body. So, all right, guys. I definitely need to do more exercise. I I don't do. I don't think I. I don't think I do any exercise. Maybe I do every now and then, but I really got to do it now. All right, guys. Take care. I'll talk to you soon. All right? Bye-bye.